हेलो गाइस सभी का स्वागत है दिशी से वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल सो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी प्लस माइनस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द वन मंथ इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन किट ऑफ हैकर रैंक इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन डायगोनल डिफरेंस इन लास्ट थ्री वीक्स वी हैव अपलोडेड द एनी वीडियो रिगार्डिंग दिस हैकर हैकर रैंक इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन ड्यू टू सम टेक्निकल इश्यूज सो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी प्लस माइनस प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स सी द what exactly the question is so there is there will be given an array which contains the integers so we need to find out the ratios of its elements that are positive negative zeros so print the decimal value of each fraction on new line with six places the decimal value of the output should be six places decimal places six decimal places so let's take an example this array one 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 Zero minus one minus one. First, we need to find out the positive numbers as they are asked positive. So, for example, here the positive numbers are one, one. So there are two positive numbers, right? So two positive numbers and the length of the array is five, right? So the two by five, which means zero point four and six decimal places. Next, coming to uh, negative. Negative we have minus one and minus one which are two right two by five which means zero point four so zero point four which is uh, six decimal places zero point four two zeros three zeros right then we need to find out for the zero zero so there is only one zero the one by total length of the array is five so one by five so the answer is zero point two so which means we need to write it still I mean it with uh, six decimal places so 0.2 five zeros so this is exactly the problem is just we need to there there will be given an array of integers we need to find out the fraction of positive negative and zero zeros in the array so let's see this example here so the size of the array is six and the elements are six elements so first we need to find out the positive integers right so for the first positive integers there are 3 4 1 which means the count of the positive integers is, is here 3 so to find out the fraction is to find out the fraction total number of positive numbers by length of the array so which means uh, 3 by 6 here the length is 6 and the number of positive numbers is 3 3 by 6 which means 0 0.5 and we need to give till six decimal places right so then we have added five zeros after that next let's see for the negative numbers so there are two negative numbers here so it will be two by six which means 0 0.3 bar so we need to give till six decimal places right so the six decimal places we are printing here two by six and then when we find out for the zeros next after it will be zeros we completed the positive and negative next to zeros there is only one zero it will be one by six right count of zeros by total length of the array equals to so 0 0.16667 so until six decimal places we have to print so first of all we need to print the positive numbers and second we need to print the negative numbers and third we need to print the zeros so this is how exactly uh, this question works so i explained the uh, question surya will go through the solution so let's see hi guys i am surya as you are told today we are going to discuss the solution of problem named plus minus in hacker rank in this question we have to take an array and then we have to count the number of positive numbers and number of negative numbers and number of zeros in it with that count we have to find the ratio the respective ratios of the count so first at first we have to take an array i am declaring a variable called n which is an integer and i am taking this i am taking the value of n from input and then i am looping with for uh, looping with for loop in times in order to take input of that array before that I, I am going to declare an array list list which consists of integer so i am keeping it as integer and the name of the list is arr 
new array list which contains the data type. And this is the initialization part of array list, and the name of the array list is ARR. Since we have, we have given array size at first, we are going to loop it for n times. Otherwise, we can. Otherwise, we don't need to take n also because it is array list, so it is expandable. This array list can be expanded to any size, so we can directly take array dot add next uh, array dot add element. The element is the element can be taken from sc dot next bit. That means we are taking from input itself. Here we are taking in. Here we are taking value from input and then we are adding it to ARR, which is our array list. So with this for loop, we we fill the array list with all the values that we have given in input, and then we can print ARR as well. Let's take an input. One, one minus one minus one and zero. I have given five values and uh, I am running it. Okay, five. Okay, okay, sorry. I haven't uh, declared the scan object. I thought I have declared it earlier. Sorry for that. Now it will work fine. Okay, I have to input the package that is that consists the scanner class. What is happening? I think there is some issue with this compiler, so I'm going to write the code in other compiler. Here also I am giving the same input. The size of array is 5. And the elements are one, one, minus one, minus one, and then zero. So we are getting our array list. We are getting our array list printed. So I am commenting it. We don't need it now. We don't need it now. Then each time we have to Count the number of false numbers, negative numbers, and zeros. So I will take three variables as z count, which corresponds to count, which corresponds to zero count, and uh, p count, which, is, which corresponds to positive numbers count, and uh, n count, which corresponds to negative numbers count. At first, they are all zero. That means we have zero negative numbers, zero positive numbers, and zero. Zero number of zeros. So in for loop, we are looping it through all the numbers. A plus plus. If I am going to write if condition for zero count, that means if AR or not get i equal to equal to zero. Then we are going to increment the count of zero. Get count plus plus else if that means if the number is not zero. If the number is not zero, then first if condition will get failed, and then if else condition is will be get will get executed. 
option error dot get i equal to equal to sorry less than zero that means it is a negative number I'll write it here negative number so then what we are going to do is we are going to increment the count of negative numbers negative numbers count is indicated by n count so i am incrementing n count then for for this uh, positive numbers count we don't need to write condition since we have already written two conditions for negative numbers and zero if a number is not a negative number and not zero then it, it will be definitely a positive number so we can by default right by default we can come to conclusion that if else condition is executed then it is a positive number number here the number is zero so now we are going to print the ratios of this positive count negative count and zero count in order to do that we are going to take a print underline statement and in it we are going to write positive count uh, sorry positive ratio positive ratio is nothing but since it is uh, since we are taking uh, z count c count and n count as double and in question it is given that uh, we are we have to print up to six decimal places so we have to use a method which is nothing but string dot for mat in that we are going to write percentile dot six f sorry six f comma that thing which is nothing but here we are uh, writing for positive ratio so positive count by n which is size of array with this we have to get the positive ratio we have kept 24 Oh, sorry, I have missed the this. Mm, here we are we are getting six decimal places after point. That means here to so in order to get six decimal places, we are writing point six f, which indicates that after point we are going to write six floating floating numbers that means after point we are going to print six digits so i am going to copy the same line for negative count as a negative ratio as well and for zero ratio as well zero ratio. here we have to change only so instead of p count we will get n count there and instead of p count here we will get z count which is nothing but zero count so with this we can find our output required output so as you can see here it is positive ratio which is nothing but 0 0.4 negative ratio which is nothing but 0 0.4 and zero count which is nothing but 0 0.2 we can take the input that is given in the question as well so here array is taken as array is taken with size pi and elements are 110 minus 1 minus 1 let's take the same input input is 110 okay there's only a little cell that we are going take So we got values of 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and 0 0.2, which is same here. 
So we got cut output and we can also filter on the inputs they have here. So here size is 6 and array is given as minus 4, 3. Okay, let's copy the same thing. We have to get output as 0 0.5, 0 0.36 times, 0 0.164 times, and 7. Okay, 0 0.5, 0 0.36 times, 0 0.164 times, and 7. So we got the right answer. I have to take you can have you can sometimes get it out that why I have taken array list instead of array list we can take array as well but for array we have to we have to take size de definitely but in case of array list we we don't need to take size even if we do not have any size then we can then we can then we can add elements into array list and we can perform the same thing as we done as we done with array list by taking size. Here we are taking z count, p count, and n count as double. Since we have to get up to six decimal places, we can take it a float also. But taking it double means we are uh, the amount of the number of bits that can be print that can be printed after the decimal points will be large. So we can take double for any for even even for bigger values in the sense that even for the large number of decimal places that have to be printed after the decimal point. So this is the thing, and I have also wrote the same thing for in hacker rank as well. So it will uh, run all the test cases. As you can see, it passed all the test cases. So guys, uh, thanks for watching the full video. I hope you like the video. Uh, in this, so in this video, I think uh, there is a some issue with the clarity. So we will check for that issue and we will come back with the good quality in next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Milte next video Bye bye.